back at Lou Fuse in Earth City. I'm wearing the Dortmund shirt, which Lutz didn't care for last time. <laughs> Look who it is. Hey. How are you? <laughs> You talk about it a little bit, but what was your impression on Isaac? Yeah, I, I mean, Isaac's a, a fun player to watch. I mean, he's a dangerous uh, 1v1 guy. He brings a little bit of that flair and creativity. Um, he's also got excellent, you know, first step. Um, you see some of his agility and quickness. And uh, he, you know, so I was pleased with him. We kind of played him on the right in this game uh, because we were in that 4 4 1. Uh, you know, but we're going to move him around. He kind of likes to be on the left, so it's going to be exciting when we get him on the left-hand side. So the last two games were what you call six-pointers against uh, Vancouver and yeah, San 12 Jose. Twelve points. We got twelve points. Yeah, yeah you did. Uh, <laughs> now you're, that to somebody. Now <laughs> you're facing uh, Timbers too, who are at the bottom of the table. So how do you keep the momentum, the intensity, make sure this doesn't become like a trap game? Yeah, and that's the difficult uh, part because in this one, it's obviously you know. We're in the playoffs, and so now it's just about making sure, as I mentioned at the start of this, that we stay on top of it. We're leading the league in points per game. That's exactly where we need to stay, and we have the opportunity. We know, look, Portland gave us a hard time when they played here. Uh, I think they're well coached. Uh, I think they're organized. They tried some tactics against us that quite candidly took, we were surprised. So we had to make some in-game adjustments, and that was a, uh, that was tough. Uh, I would think that they'll do the same thing. So we just need to stay focused on what we do and how we do it and, and understand that this could be a trap game. And you know, these are scary moments for a, a coach and a, and a player uh, in that situation. You, wouldn't, you can't make up some of the travel delays that we've mm. been a part of, but mm. it is what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. um, we sat uh, in a layover for a couple hours actually more than a couple hours this last time and we just got to get through it you know so our team again give these guys so much credit because they've dealt with you know three consecutive trips to the west coast that have been tough uh to get to and um, we got to do it again so. yeah. what's this week been like practice wise because really you didn't practice you played sunday so you had monday as a travel day and yeah and then we we were gonna train yesterday but we decided with such we were it was about a 12 hour travel day um, so we just decided to give the guys rest uh, yesterday, and this is a short week. So again, that'll test our own uh, principles and see if we can, on a short training week, still have the same kind of performance. And we're in that part of the season where you would expect us to be physically and mentally ready for that. So it's not about having to come out here and you know increase our, our physical level or you know understanding our tactics. We're, we're in a good way right now. We just have to continue to do so. You're down a left back and a center back in the next game. Um, can you give us any clues about who might be filling those roles in, in short practice week, so maybe not many change, changes? Yeah, I mean, you look at left back, you know, Kwame and Ezra have gotten the majority of reps at left back, and uh, it was nice to get Selmir a start, but those guys are the guys that have been playing all year long, so that should be a no-brainer for, you sure. know, either Kwame or Ezra will, will get the nod at left back. Um, and then we have good choices between Josh Mayer and Fritz Vollmer, uh, young guys who've played really good minutes for us so far. Again, um, it's an exciting opportunity because now you do, you know, a push to keep, you know, playing well and to keep uh, us in the position we want to be in. You're going to depend on a, probably a younger guy to hop in there and do it. Going back to that San Jose game, San Jose almost scored in the first like, 10 seconds of the game. Uh, what did you see on that play when you went back and looked at it? Yeah, well, I think they tried to do uh, what Real Madrid had done. No, was PSG. it Real Madrid? PSG, no, yeah. P PSG. Yeah. Sorry, PSG. Thank you. Um, who I cannot name. Uh, <laughs> He's not here. He's not here. Uh, <laughs> PSG did it, uh, you know, and I think that probably San Jose said, hey, look, but the reality is Ben just slips. So, and we had, ironically, just talked about the fact that we needed to start well <laughs> to prevent something like what happened against Colorado. Um, so, you know, those things happen in, in the game, and uh, thank goodness Berkey's there and makes a really massive save, um, keeps us in the game, which, you know, he did all night. Have you done that? We have a scripted play off the opening kickoff? A... Yeah, we all, you know, we have training ground tricks that we try to pull off, and, uh, um, some of them work and some of them don't. And in this case, poor Ben just has a slip up and you know, almost ruined our night. Yes. 
Uh, Bulmer with a big cast on his uh, arm, but he's okay to play. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, he had a uh, little surgery two weeks ago, mm -hmm. uh, kind of minor, but you know we're just trying to be careful with him, and he does have to wear this kind of brace. Mm -hmm. um, so it's really just a lot of cushioning, mm -hmm. so that when he's mm -hmm. you know going at God again, we got here because of the guys that were originally here, and we shouldn't overlook that fact. They deserve all the credit. And now, um, you know, we have guys that are coming in and are obviously here uh, for the long haul and to represent us in the MLS, but they recognize that this is a pretty cool environment to be in and, and have accepted the, the roles that we challenged them with, which was come in here and, you know, integrate yourself and mm -hmm. to teach some of these young guys the lessons that you've already learned. And, mm -hmm. and that's been fantastic. The um, U21s, the U21s start their season this weekend. Uh, can you talk a little bit about that and, and what that means uh, for the yeah, club? I think it's just another little pathway in our club that is really exciting because you know we have guys here that are playing there as well, and they'll get more minutes probably with the UPSL team than they will here. And again, just a fantastic pathway of player development that we're excited about. Um, you know, I was talking to John earlier, uh, the head coach, and, and he has already scouted the opponent, thinks they're a good team. Men, you know, it's going to be exciting for, for these young guys, uh, still teenagers, to, to play in a proper men's league and to play some good competition. It, it'll be another step for them. Yeah. Right. You haven't heard anything from the league about your yellow card? No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you know? so, like, we I'll, saw you on TV. Yeah. <laughs> so, and they, have they said anything about if, if there's a limit when you would get into, uh, get into trouble? Yes. Yeah, they have. <laughs> Can you expand on when that when you might get into trouble? How many I'm gonna leave that and I'm not gonna address that. <laughs> <laughs> All right.